In the next three sessions, we're going to continue the theme of the swing plane, but I'm entitling it power plane, because there are three sources of power that function within the swing plane. And you'll be conversant now with the fact that those three are the shoulders coiling, the forearms rotating, and the wrist cocking or hinging. It's rather like having a catapult in your hand and two half-size catapults. You've got your shoulders, which is the big catapult, and your wrist and your forearms are two half-size catapults. But what we're doing is we're stretching three catapults together and releasing them at the same time. So here's the small catapult to the wrist, Here's the second catapult to the forearms, and the third and the big catapult is the shoulder turn. So those are your ingredients of the swing that create power. So, most of your power comes from body rotation. Now, I've got a 20 pound note here. I used to do this with a comb, and I don't have a comb anymore. So I have to make do with a 20 pound note. And this is one of my favorite teaching images. So if we take that, I don't know if you can see against my shirt, if, we, if you take the 20 pound note, it's nice and flat because I've folded it neatly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist the top of the 20 pound note through 90 degrees. Okay, can you see what's happened? The whole 20 pound note is involved in the rotational activity and there's no stress. The load is, is spread right through the entire body. So for the health of your spine and your torso and your vertebrae, that's why we have good posture. We incline from the hips, but the line from the top of our head to our coccyx should be straight or in line or neutral. You've only got to slump a little bit and it doesn't work. And you're down the chiropractor on Monday morning. Okay, if the posture is good, if this is in line, the beauty is twisting the shoulder gives you all the body movement you need and mentally you have very little to worry about. So hopefully I've simplified it. If your posture is good and you load the shoulders, then everything works as it should. So let's just imagine that my body is the 20 pound note and the primary rotation is just this. So when I turn my shoulder, I have a rotational motor skill. I'm coiling. You can see that my face is staying still as I turn the club to point at the camera lens. Gone 90 degrees. Now I can come through and through 180. Now I get the club past the camera. This is, most of us aren't as flexible through the ball. Now, if I sway, there's no power, it's inaccurate. If I tilt, it's even worse. The skill of rotation gives you power and accuracy combined. So you can do this, this drill with the club across your shoulders in the upright, giving you a horizontal swing, or you can incline. Driver, six iron, and so on. So the power comes primarily from the shoulder turn, and it's the shoulders coiling that start the swing. It can't be the wrists, it can't be the forms. The shoulders are the father of the swing. So now I've got my six iron, and I can show you a quarter turn, a half a turn, a three quarter turn, and a full turn. This is where the power comes from. So here we go. I just do a quarter shoulder turn. I'll do half a shoulder turn. I'll do a three quarter shoulder turn. And then I'll do the biggest full fullest shoulder turn I possess. Now, as I loaded the shoulder, my torso, my core muscles, my hips, my legs, my knee flex, my weight shift, my footwork were all guaranteed. I was just clearing one task. I was loading the shoulders. So like the 20 pound note, if your shoulder turn is good, you don't have to worry about everything from the neck down. It's for free. So just look at that. Turn the shoulder. You don't have to worry about this. If your posture is good, it will be automatic. Now, the best way of developing that power is using my explainer. Here I go, just checking that the swing plane is through my upper sternum. No better way to work on the shoulder turn. And the beauty is, all the work that I'm doing is close to my plane. I'm not above my plane, 
I'm not under it. If I said explainer correctly, I'm creating power within my ideal swing plane. And all this is shoulder turn. In a minute, I'll add forearm rotation and we've got another power source. But most of your power comes from shoulder coil. And if your shoulders are gonna coil properly, you need good posture. And again, no matter what club you're using, the rotational mode skill needs to be practiced as a separate thing. So if you haven't got an explainer, try doing this in the horizontal plane and then in the inclined plane. That will make everything from the neck down work for free.